Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if I've got the fishing. What's that? Oh, now what else? Oh, yes. Well, they're hot. Hey, up, short house. Do you think there's enough in there for two of us? Well, if you're too lazy to go out and sell them, you'll just have to stop at home and eat them, won't you? <laughs> like my mum says, waste not, want not, pick it up and eat it. Nelly, does it have to be fish and chips again tonight? I thought we could go out and try that new restaurant next to Town Hall. New restaurant? Oh, very unusual. It's English. Oh. Well, it's nice of you to want to take your sister out after our day's pickling. Well, come on, then. You won't have to lend me more than a tenner. Come on. Yes, you won't. <laughs> Get off, you scrounging telemans doormat, you. Well, you wouldn't. You'd lend your own brother a few bob, wouldn't you? I wouldn't give you a button off my granddad's vest when it had been thrown in the midden for scrap. <laughs> Sit yourself down and get your fish and chips in. Yeah, it's rotten thing, yeah. Come on, rotten. Come on, pass us vinegar. Pass it vinegar. I won't mm. give you a pickle. Mm. There's vinegar. Go on, get on with it. There. Oh, oh God. <laughs> hey! That breaking next door. Hey, it's not just an insulated case. <laughs> it says uh, here there's been a lot of burglaries around here. Yeah, it says here that the vicar took the cub mistress up the bell tower. <laughs> and the burglar still hasn't been caught. What's this? The police are on the loo. Oh, just a minute. <laughs> oh, on the loo count. <laughs> says here the vicar wanted to show the ropes. The police alleged what? And he was pulling with both hands. Police are trying to get a description of him. They don't know where he's going to strike next. He says the vicar told the cub mistress he wanted her help in getting his... Hey! They never had a badge like that when I were in cubs. Hey, when's the tanner? I'll go and get some more chips. Well, I'm still hungry. No, you daft old bat. I want to get next page of paper see if the vicar rang the bell. See yourself down. You've not been listening, have you? Don't you realise that we could be the next to be, uh broken into and entered by this criminal who is in my chip paper. <laughs> Does it say he's working on his own or is he controlled by Mr Big from Bury? Oh. Get off, he's never breaking ears, not worth pinching. Yeah, that's all you think. You are, really? I mean, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, if you know or knew there was something, I mean, you'd have pinched it already, wouldn't you? <laughs> Are we anybody at all? Oh. Bloody hell. It's poet and his peasant. Oh, what's to do, Lily? Oh, I'm glad I've caught you. You'll never guess what's happened to me. I was turned over last night. <laughs> what? While I were in bed. <laughs> I had to fetch police. Oh, what happened? Well, it was them what told me I'd been turned over. Oh. Well, I didn't you know. Oi, Cloghead, that's what the police say when you've been broken into. Oh, I see, yes. Yeah. Well, come and sit down. Hey, do you mean to say this fella that's been going creepy crawling into other folks' houses did it to you in your sleep? <laughs> did you see his face? Did I, Eric? I had my eyes shut tight, but I felt his hot breath on my face. <laughs> oh, that's how you knew it won't Walter. <laughs> Didn't you get a look at him? Because the police are looking for an eyeball witness. <laughs> Just stay Walter, the police are looking for an eyeball witness. Did you see anything? I mean, when he turned round, had he been? <laughs> Burglar, I mean. Oh. And you Rod, I had to make a list out of all the things for the insurance. Oh, yes. You see, Walter's covered for every emergency. Ah, mm. uh, everything but flood damage. Even Lloyd's won't cover him for that. <laughs> What's this? He stole your ring. It says here it was a perfectly cut single diamond. Encrusted in sapphires and mounted in a solid gold setting. You know the one? I know the one. I was there when he got it out of that Christmas cracker. <laughs> hey, it says in the pocket of a fur coat. What fur coat? The Persian lamb, of course. Persian lamb? That coat had never even seen the leg of a lamb. <laughs> 
Road, all I came to say was that if the police do find anything, I've given them your address. Oh. Because I'm taking Walter away to get over the shock. Where well, are you taking him, then? Well, if you must know, Walter and me are becoming naturists. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Salford Sun Club. Salford? <laughs> Lily! Well, what's wrong with that? Well, isn't that that place where you all hang about to, you know... <laughs> In the news, sort of, uh, with nothing on, so what? Well, Walter's popped in there once before, you know. Mm. What for? To size it up? <laughs> He's never talked about hotels since. Likes the sun on his back, does Walter. <laughs> Lily, you, you're not going to disabilitate yourself, are you? And go there, stretched out, lay lying on the wet grass, without even your vest on. Walter won't notice even if grass was wet. They don't just lie around, you know, when you've got your clothes off. Do they not? <laughs> what do they do then? They do all sorts of things. Play games, for instance. <laughs> oh, not leapfrog. <laughs> no. Cricket. Cricket? <laughs> not with hard ball. <laughs> You do all your own cooking. All your own cooking? <coughs> Without even a penny on? <laughs> oh, I'll bet when that hot fat starts spitting out at frying pan, the bloody galloping gourmet is not in it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, come on, Walter, there's no talking to some folk. It would do you good to let the sun kiss your body. Now then, Lily, look. I was created a woman, not a flaming Jaffa orange. <laughs> well, uh, the sun will never kiss Walter's body when he takes his clothes off. There'll be a bloody total eclipse. <laughs> There's an inspector to see you, Miss Nelly. Oh, well, if it's a uh, sanitary inspector, tell him I'm out. I'm not a sanitary inspector. I'm a detective inspector, and I'm here in pursuance of my inquiries. Are you Lillian Agnes Claire or Greta Tattersall? No, I'm Arinelli. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't even know the, all those names of those people. Oi, he means I'm Lillian, you daft old bat. Oh, oh. I'm Lillian Agnes Claire or Greta Tattersall. <laughs> oh, you're not. <laughs> oh, Lily, you never said. <laughs> is it to do with the burglary? It is indeed. Acting upon information received, I understood I'd find you here. Oh, and, uh, officer, have you, uh, sort of uh, found this fellow that's going about doing it? No, the alleged thief has not as yet been apprehended, oh. but we believe we have discovered some of your stolen property. Oh, and uh, have you, sort of, uh, apprehended our Lily's, um, maternity ring? No, we've discovered this. <laughs> Can you identify it? Because it was not among your list of stolen articles. Well... I didn't notice it had been missing, like. It was located by a police dog in the park shelter behind the licensed tea bar. I wonder whose fingerprints are on it. <laughs> hey, what are you having your ears? Look at self at Sun Club. Did you say something, sir? Who, oh, sir? Me, sir? No, sir. Well, unless you have something to say that will materially assist in these criminal investigations, bell talk. <laughs> well, it is mine. We found a few other discarded articles in the shelter. I bet you didn't know. We believe the suspect dropped them whilst on the run. What's that you said? Uh, nothing, officer, sir. So I should be grateful if you would accompany me to the police headquarters to see if you can identify them as yours. I've got a police car waiting outside. Oh, just a minute, defective inspector. Uh, you say this fellow that's going about doing it is still going about doing it. Well, that's a fair summary of the current situation. Do you think he'd turn me over? <laughs> if he did, he'd bloody soon turn you back again. <laughs> Nobody's safe. All we know is he's operating in this area. And all I can say is, look out, there's a thief about. Um, and do you expect to take him into custard very imminently? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. But we have quite a description of him. Well, why don't you give it to us? Because, I mean, if somebody comes in to burgle us, we'll want to know it's the right fella. Well, now, uh, let's see... Uh... Well, he's, uh, he's small in stature, getting on in years, wears glasses and dresses very smartly. Oh, he has a habit of whistling. Whistling? Mm. Yes, usually selections from Gilbert and Sullivan. Oh, Gilbert Sullivan, yes. And uh, do you have you any idea what he does for a living? He burgles, you daft old nit. <laughs> but during the day, he probably does a perfectly normal job and leads a perfectly normal life. 
Oh, it's like, uh, you mean he's one of those schizophrenics? Uh, like that Dr. Jelly and uh, Mr. Tide. Well, whatever you do, don't try to apprehend him on your own. No, you mean uh, don't have a go, Joe? No, Joe. I mean, the only thing to do is to humour him until help arrives, otherwise he might turn very violent. And we don't want a dead eye ball witness, do we? Excuse me, uh, Inspector. While you're here, you've got the police car. Could we interest you in a couple of jars of Pledges Pure Pickles for the police canteen? I'll show you to the door. To think, this fella who's going about doing it, he could come pussyfooting in here any minute. Ah, tonight. <coughs> Nobody's going to get their hands on my precious property. <coughs> where shall I put it? Somewhere where nobody will think of going. I know. Between my sheets. <laughs> and if some man should get his hand on it there... <laughs> it'll be over my dead body. <laughs> Nelly, what are you saying? <laughs> I think that's a hot water bottle. <laughs> No mooniac maniac will get his hands on that. Ah, <laughs> uh, not even uh, the Boston Dangler. <laughs> <laughs> well, now's it, we are, yeah, Nelly. It's only your real life. You Fleming fool, you could have been Jack the Zipper. <laughs> hey, up, Nelly, you haven't got a few, uh, few quid stashed away in mothballs, have you, anywhere? I mean, uh, you know, something to tide me over, like. A couple of knickers do. If I've told you once, I've told you twice over. I haven't had a knicker all week. <laughs> I'm absolutely knickerless. Well, I'm feeling the draft myself, you know. I thought you might have something tucked away like in the back pocket of your bloomers. Get off ya! Indelibly no. Well. Well, that's it, isn't it then? Yes, well, if uh, you finish your scrounging, that is it. <clears throat> yes, well. Now the end is near, and I face the final curtain. <laughs> my friend, I'll say it clear. I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. Well, then go on. State your case, then. Go on. All I can say, Nelly, is... I've lived a life that's full. I've travelled each and every highway. But more, much more than this. I did it my way. <laughs> Well, it serves you right, then. You've nobody to blame. <laughs> hey, where the hell do you think you're going? I'm catching the all-night bus to Manchester, Nelly. <laughs> and when the dawn comes up over heat and more gasworks, <laughs> where will I be? <coughs> Flogging me gherkins all over Ashton Market. Do you mean to say you're going and leaving me on my own by myself with nobody with me? In this uninhabitable house? <laughs> At a time like now? Well, Nelly, if you'd sub me a few, Bob, I wouldn't have to leave you, a defenceless woman, in a spooky place like this. Yes, well... Ah, so that's your game, is it? <laughs> if you think you can squeeze some money out of me, you've got another thing to thunk. <laughs> because I can... Uh, look after myself and defend for myself. All right, then. I'd best be off. Well, if that's the way you feel, get gone. <laughs> I lie, but I come back, come back.
That's the last one. <laughs> ah, I'd just like to see anybody get in here now. Hello, Miss Nelly. <laughs> How the hell did you get in? The front door was open. Get in for... Hey, hey, hey. Don't worry. I've double bolted it, put chain on and turned key. Oh, it'll be safest with me. There's nobody will get into this house tonight. We're all alone. Just the two of us. So we are, aren't we? The two of us. What's that specky-eyed manure carrier doing here at this time of night? Something very auspicious about this. Stop it off, Nelly. <laughs> Next you'll be imagining that Stan is the Boston Dangler. <laughs> <laughs> I've known him all my life. No, never Stan. <laughs> Femi Nora, that's from the Mikadoo. That defective inspector said the criminal liked to whistle good with Solomon. He is looking well, this scruffed. It's a smart suit. Let's see, small in stature, getting on in years. Wears glasses, very smartly dressed. Are you feeling all right, Miss Nelly? Oh, yes, yes. I was just uh, having a see at your suit. <laughs> it's very cute <laughs> and suits you to boot. <laughs> I'll bet it costs you more than the one's wages that I pay you. Oh, I don't tell you how much, but it's worth it. At night, I become a different person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Miss Nelly? Oh, nothing. I just got fed up with sat sitting there. And I don't feel like stood standing here. So uh, I think I'll take a walk round the rug. <clears throat> Sit yourself down and relax. I know what you need. Oh, you do? Yes. Here. <laughs> What's this? Drop of good stuff is this. If that doesn't knock her out, I don't know what will. <laughs> and you're going to have some? Me? No. I'll have all I want later. Hey, can't you see he's trying to slip you a dropout knock? Well, I'm not drinking it. Oh, is that real Dresden silver? What? Oh, the whiskey flask. <coughs> I think so. Hey, that didn't last long, did it? Have another. It uh, looks more like genuine Chipperfield to me. <laughs> Aye. It might be. Mm. Hey, you're going it a bit, aren't you? Have another. Thank you. Well, cheers. <laughs> That was very delectable. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Miss Nelly, it's all finished. Oh, good. I mean, uh, oh, what a pity. <laughs> I tell you what, what, why don't you go out and make a cup of cocoa? Cocoa? Yes. Cocoa. <laughs> With a capital K. <laughs> Stay or not to stay, that is the question. Whether to go and leave my treasured possession for him to hold, or shall I stay and maybe become an indolent victim to his horrible skull druggeries? I think I'll go. <clears throat> Why 
was to do with you? I only wanted to know, should I cut her a butty? <laughs> Get at me now. <laughs> there it is, all safe and sound. <coughs> I think I'll just be lay lying here until he terribleizes somebody else. <laughs> Try and tell me why you're here. Oh, I don't have to, do I? I'll see you morning then. Yeah, just a minute. You stay stood standing where you're stood because I've stood as much as I can stand. <laughs> and now, why you sent Stan over there to hold my attentions in the lounge while you came into my bedroom to get your hands on my personal defects. You've got something valuable in here. You sleep with it under your pillow, don't you? And I saw you trying to sneak up the stairs with it. What is it? <clears throat> something my dad said you ought never to get your hands on. Because, he said, if you did like a flash, you would cop it, hop it and pop it. Well, what is it, Nelly? Come here. Uh, that is a monument to a man who has piddled on this sod non-stop <laughs> for 63 years. His golden gherkin. <laughs> Heavy between. But has he been? <laughs> oh, wasn't that good of Stan, eh? To take us out to dinner like that. Uh, all the time I thought he was the Boston Dangler. <laughs> and all the time he was getting his money back in greyhounds. <laughs> no, not backing them, Nelly, doping them. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, we've got nothing to worry about now. Everything's over, eh? Yes. We can sleep in our beds tonight without fear or flavour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're back home at last, are you? Well, I've got some bad news for you. You're the first victims of a new crime wave. Hey, they haven't pinched my golden gherkin. Well, there are one or two things missing. Take a look inside. Oh. <laughs> How did he get in? A clever stroke, sir, and executed with devastating cunning. Somebody left the front door wide open. <laughs> you boss-eyed, bow-legged tripound, you! You said you locked that door! You yeah, don't knock me knackered old nose bag. You said you locked it! I didn't! You did! 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 Did!
it a minute. Let's see what I've got the fishing. Oh, that's it. Oh, now what else? Oh, yes. Well, they're hot. Hey up, short ass. <laughs> Do you think there's enough in there for two of us? Well, if you're too lazy to go out and sell them, you'll just have to stop at home and eat them, won't you? <laughs> like my mum says, waste not, want not, pick it up and eat it. Nelly, does it have to be fish and chips again tonight? I thought we could go out and try that new restaurant next to Town Hall. New restaurant? Oh, very unusual. It's English. Oh. Well, it's nice of you to want to take your sister out after our day's pickling. Well, come on, then. You won't have to lend me more than a tenner. Go on. Yes, you won't. <laughs> Get off, you scrounging telemans doormat, you. Well, you wouldn't. You'd lend your own brother a few bob, wouldn't you? I wouldn't give you a button off my granddad's vest when it had been thrown in the midden for scrap. <laughs> Sit yourself down and get your fish and chips in. Yeah, rotten thing, yeah. Come on, rotten. Come on, pass your vinegar. Pass your vinegar. I won't mm. give you a pickle. Mm. There's vinegar. Get on, get on with it. There. Oh, <laughs> oh Hey! That breaking next door. Hey, it's not just an insulated case. <laughs> it says uh, here there's been a lot of burglaries around here. Here, it says here that the vicar took the cub mistress up the bell tower. And the burglar still hasn't been caught. What's this? The police are on the loo. Oh, just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on the loo count. <laughs> says here the vicar wanted to show the ropes. The police alleged what? And he was pulling.